And there is a, another gene that I, look, that I looked at called MC4R. It's part of the pathway. It's part of the same fat sensing pathway. That is a, a rear stat. It's like a thermostat. And so, for example, we have found thousands of different mutations in this, in this gene. And you can imagine that depending on the severity of the dysfunction, some are completely dead, some are 70% functional, you, we can predict how much someone will eat in a test buffet meal scenario um, if they have a 50% functioning gene versus a zero functioning gene. And we now know that 0.3%, okay, in this country at least, so, so 200,000 people in the UK, a million people in the United States will carry mutations in this MC4R gene, okay, making them more likely to end up with obesity. So that at 18 years old, at 18 years old, if you carry a mutation in this MC4R gene, you are on average 18 kilos heavier, 40 pounds heavier at 18 years old on average. And that's 200,000 people in this country. So it's, it's, it's not super common, right? It's still 99.7% of the people's body weights not determined by this. But there are a lot of people's body weights who are de dependent on this specific gene. But it is, a, it is a tunable system. So it's a little bit or a lot means that you are either slightly heavier or a lot heavier.